Hey guys, so in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to make cordage. This is out of cedar, the inner bark of a cedar tree. And this is a great little craft that you can learn how to do. And it'll help you out in a survival situation or just something fun to do around a campfire. All you're really gonna need is a knife and some water. And of course, a cedar tree. Let's get started. Ah, the magnificent cedar. Cedar has three different layers of bark. The outer bark, the cambium layer, and then the inner bark. That's what we're gonna use to make our cordage. I'm gonna trim off a sapling branch. I like to use fresh growth because it's a little bit easier to peel the bark off. Traditionally, indigenous people used bark strips pulled off of the tree, but I find that just using a little branch is less damaging, especially if you're not making a ton of cordage. So as you can see, the bark peels right off. So here we have all of our bark strips. Now let's go start processing the bark. First things first, I like to get it a little bit wet. This helps it feel more flexible and makes the processing part a little bit easier. I also collect some water when I'm doing this. First up, I'm going to split the bark into semi-equal strands. Just simply hold the knife down really securely against my leg please be careful not to cut yourself, and then dragging and pulling the strip backward. This takes all of the outer bark off really easily and really quickly. So we're gonna be making cord doing what is called the reverse wrap method. All right, so I've got my skinned pieces of inner bark. They are about the same thickness, give or take. The more equal the thickness, the stronger your cord is gonna be. So I am just going to knot these at the top, just an overhand knot. So I'm gonna clamp the top in my left hand, start twisting this to the right, then hold that with these fingers and start twisting this one to the right. until it starts kind of twisting up like that. See, once it does that, you can back it off. Just pull it tight. Now we're gonna reverse wrap it, cross over to the left, and over to the left, and over to the left, and over to the left. And we're just gonna cross this until we run out of tight cord. We're already starting to make cordage, see? So this is just staying on its own. So once you get going, it actually doesn't take that long to make a good amount. I'm gonna add a little water because it's starting to warm up out and dry this out. I find that the water kind of helps reduce friction when you're twisting it up and it holds all the hairs together. It just seems to make the cord a little bit nicer. The last thing we're gonna do is trim off the little hairs to make it look nice and uniform. That's pretty good. So I've been working on this for about 15 minutes and I've got some really nice fine cordage. Today, I'm gonna use it as a bracelet. Look at that. All natural cordage, all natural bracelet. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you next week. Bye.